Everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm Modi. This is Heather. Hi. We're here with another adventure. We uh, it's thought, super bright out. It is. We can't see. We hopefully we're in frame. I, <laughs> I can know. see that. I okay. just can't see anything else. I'm, the back of my legs are getting wet. We decided to stand next to this fountain because I don't know. Cool. We're, we're super good at this. No. Professional. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we want to take you guys on a quick tour of a part of town, a part of Tucson that we like very, very much. Yep. Uh, this is going to be basically the downtown, we'll kind of refer to it as like the downtown 4th Avenue area. Yep. Um, and it's all kind of, you know, together. You have downtown, you have 4th Avenue, University of Arizona, all of these areas kind of just melt into each other. And they have very different kind of eclectic vibes, different, you know, kind of people, kind of places and different stuff. Different vibes. So we thought we'd, uh show you around and now uh, maybe even grab some lunch at uh, one of our favorite places yeah. so, all right let's uh let's go check out uh downtown tucson guys so uh, one of the first areas we're checking out is uh, kind of the main strip down through downtown uh, it's called Congress Street it's kind of an interesting area it's a lot of old buildings old construction repurposed and kind of kind of like hip hipster yeah. style restaurants and bars and whatnot and then also uh, there's been a lot of new building down here. Yep. Uh, probably over the last couple of years, they've really renovated a lot of it, built brand new buildings, new hotels, new all kinds of stuff. So, I keep watching people walk by, sorry. <laughs> um, so it's kind of interesting, you know, you'll have a place that's 100 years old, and across the street, you have a place that was built six months ago. And uh, yeah, there's like just a lot of really cool restaurants and bars. Um, and a lot of people walking through, you might have people shopping, yeah. going to eat. Lots of businessmen. Working, because uh, right now it's a Thursday <laughs> about, noon. about noon. So you're going to probably see a lot of people doing that. And yeah, it's a real just interesting just group of everybody. So. Yeah. All right, so we'll get, we'll get back to touring here.
guys, so we're outside of the Ronstadt Center. It's basically the main public city bus hub for Tucson. Uh, everything kind of goes out from here, and there's other ones throughout town that they connect to, but this is the main one right downtown. Um, it's mostly just a place where buses come and go. It's not really a big deal, but the kind of cool part about it is that we notice it's called the Ronstadt Center, and that's if, and this is gonna be probably for more of the older folks that are watching, uh, there was a pretty famous singer from the 70s and 80s named Linda Ronstadt. Uh, tons of hits. If you Google her, you'll probably recognize some of the songs. But her family is actually from Tucson, and she put a lot of the money that she made being a, a famous singer back into Tucson, and they dedicated this bus station to her and her family. So yeah, this is the Ronstadt Center named after Linda Ronstadt. Hotel Congress. <laughs> Sorry, I can distract easily. We're in front of Hotel Congress, which is a very famous hotel here in Tucson. And I hope you can hear me because we are right in front of the busy streets. Um, it is said to be haunted. Uh, a lot of stuff went down here. Um, there's a story about Dillinger. There are ma many stories of, of fires and um, murders and all kinds of stuff. It's awesome. Take a le look at the link that I'm gonna put down below to check that all out. I'll show you guys inside, so. It also has a radio station, a restaurant called the Cup Cafe, and Club Congress, which is a bar slash nightclub where they have shows almost daily. Alright guys, well hey, real quick, I ran into a buddy I've had for 20 years. Yeah. yeah, well we actually went to high school together. Yeah. So more than <laughs> Anyways, this is Fudd. Hello. This is Fudd's mustache. This is Fudd's bread. Wow, uh, Don's bread. Okay. <laughs> He's delivering bread. So this is just temporarily Fudd's yeah. bread. So 
and I'm just trying to see how long I can get him to stand here while holding two heavy bags of bread. <laughs> Not too much longer. Exactly. <laughs> I gotta get going. I like your hat choice. So this was fun. He actually does amazing uh, balloon work. Yeah. I don't know what you would call it. Balloon art. Balloon, balloon art. Yeah. All kind of huge, gigantic things. So uh, we may actually give him a hand in starting his own uh, balloon art YouTube channel. So we will make sure that once that gets going, we'll let them know and yeah. hopefully help you out a little bit. So right. this is fun. That's everybody. Thanks, everybody. everybody. Fun. <laughs> All right. All right. So uh, we decided, even though it's not an insanely long walk, we kind of wanted to show you guys the light rail. This is put in. And, and there's air conditioning in here. And I can sit down. <laughs> falling apart. So um, basically, this light rail just kind of runs through downtown in some part of Tucson. They haven't really expanded it out. I mean, there's obviously a huge bus system here. It is super bright, so I'm like squinting. <laughs> but we are now at Lindy's on 4th. Um, they actually used to be down the road, um, and they've moved to this location a couple of years ago. This restaurant has actually been featured on two Food Network shows, Man vs. Food and Ginormous Foods on uh, Food Network. Um, and you'll see why. I'm gonna show you guys the menu and show you why they were on there. But they have really crazy burgers and stuff, and the food is amazing. So go check them out from the link below. And we're gonna go check them out right now. Gross. Hot. All right, so I went pretty classic. I just got a regular burger because I'm picky like an eight-year-old. Ketchup, mustard, french fries, nothing else. No cheese, no other garbage, just classic. All right, I got a two-finger peekaboo. What it is, is it is a burger in between two grilled cheese sandwiches with an onion ring but because i don't eat red meat because i can't i actually got it with a chicken patty they do have they do have a black bean patty but i'm not real fond of black bean veggie burgers so i got it with chicken so we'll see how this is it's huge i'm gonna die yep. It's not 
back of the house. I'm so full. I think I might die. You probably. I think I'm dying. I can feel myself uh, dying. We still have a whole From avenue deliciousness. to go. Deliciousness. It was so good. I couldn't stop eating. It was the way I want to go. We still have a bunch of places to show though. Remember me. Now we're on 4th Avenue, which is one of my favorite streets in all of Tucson. Um, it's actually two different vibes depending on when you come. During the day it's artistic and eclectic and at night it is punk and college bars and yeah. So let's check it out. We've got a whole bunch of stores and a whole bunch of restaurants. I mean, I'm so excited. <laughs> Fourth Avenue um, in Congress. And, and Congress. Uh, that's downtown and this area. There's a lot more to see. We showed you a fraction of the cool places. Those are just some of our favorites. Yep. Uh, if you're ever in Tucson, make sure you come down here. Tons of different places to eat. Tons of different cool things to see. And uh, yeah, I had fun. I had fun. We walked a lot. So. We did. I need a nap. Yeah. I'm still so full of hamburger right now. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, this was 4th Avenue, one of our favorite places in town. Uh, you're definitely going to see more of this. Yep. Uh, there's going to be probably a couple of videos in the 
not too distant. Oh, we're back in the sunlight. Uh, <laughs> not too distant future that will uh, be down here. So yep. once again, don't forget hit the like button. Yep. And subscribe. Yep. I can't see if we're in frame. And oh, make sure you subscribe. Stairs. And uh, oh, we're doing stairs. Ah! Oh god. Oh god. Um, and make sure you hit that little bell so you get notified. Uh, you know when we're putting videos. Oh god, more stairs. Ah!